Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be setting up the Active Campaign QSM add-on. And you can go over to instawp.io if you'd like to set up your own disposable WordPress environment for free. But if you'd like to go pro, there are affordable pricing plans as well. So check out this website. So the first thing you would need to get is QSM. If you have not installed QSM, there will be a link on the screen to a video that shows you how to do so. And we'll be installing this plugin, which is the Active Campaign add-on. So I'm going to show you how to install this add-on. You just want to hover over plugins on the left-hand side of the screen and click Add New. Next, click Upload Plugin and simply drag the plugin from your download location to this button right here. Then click Install Now. Click Activate Plugin. And once it's done, hover over QSM on the left-hand side and click Add-on Settings. Click the Settings for Active Campaign over on the right. And here you just want to paste your add-on license key. Okay, so next we need to go to Active Campaign to find the rest of the keys. So let's go to Settings and click Developer. Now you need to copy this URL, then go back to your add-on settings and paste it in the URL field. Okay, so we need to get the rest. Uh, let's go back and get the key. Copy it, go back and paste it in the key field, the API key field. Now we need the Active Campaign event tracking key. So let's go back to Active Campaign and let's go to the tracking tab. So here we want to enable site tracking. Um, let's scroll down and Okay, so we need to add a website URL. So we want to go back to our um, our WordPress instance and let's get our URL. So we just want to copy everything um, before this wp-admin. Copy this and paste it in this field here. Make sure everything looks okay. Once it's good, click add. Now we need to scroll down and turn event tracking on. So I'm going to scroll down again. Um, I'm going to add an event in this field. I'm going to call this visited site. Click add. Okay. So we need to copy this event key here. Copy this and paste it into your um, event tracking key field in your add on settings. Okay. Now we need to find the active campaign event tracking ID. So we're going back to active campaign. Click this link. And we just want to copy this highlighted number right here. So copy this and go back to your add-on settings and paste it in this field. This is your event tracking ID. Now let's type the same event that we entered in Active Campaign. So it's basically visited site. You can always go back to, um, to double check. So it says visited site. So we just want to copy this or you could type it in this field right here. Then click Save Settings. Okay, so now we have all of the keys set up. Okay, so I'm going to go over to quizzes or surveys on the left, and I'm going to click my test quiz. So um, this is a simple quiz with one question. See, there's only one question. If I click the contact tab, there you'll see that I'm only collecting an email address. Now let's go over to the active campaign tab. Um, I'm going to click yes to enable it for this quiz. Um, from the drop down, select a contact list. I, I have master contact list. And you can also select a subscription mode. I'm going to leave it as optional. And this is the text that gets shown next to the subscribe checkbox. So you can change this if you want. And you can set a minimum score as well. You can map a minimum as well as a maximum quiz score and an active campaign tag. So for the next option, if you select yes, it will send your quiz data, which is your questions and answers over to active campaign. So I'm going to select yes. And for the next option, you can use this to send request parameters over to Active Campaign. So, for example, if you select yes, you would be able to pass UTM tags. Click Save Settings. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my test quiz. So, in the I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm going to um, paste the link to the quiz. Okay, so this is the quiz. And I'm going to change this email address a bit. Uh, I'm going to subscribe to the newsletter at the bottom. And I'm going to select an answer. Before I submit, let me show you that there is no contact in this Active Campaign Contacts tab. Um, I'm going to submit now. Let's wait for it to load. 
All right, so if we go back to the active campaign tab at the top, um, let's reload this page. Okay, so here we have one contact, and as you can see, the full name is our site name. So if we click this email address, here on the right, we will see our event, which is site visited, and it happened a few seconds ago. So if we take a look over on the left, we can see the question and answer data. So it's test Q and the answer was true. So this data was sent here as well. Now you can also add custom fields. If we go back to the website and click active campaign custom fields, let's wait for it to open, click yes. And here it says active campaign custom fields list. And you would have to go to active campaign to create your own custom fields and they will show up right here. Let's click save settings. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some UTM parameters to show you how they work. Okay, so I'm gonna replace this URL with one that includes UTM parameters. Um, so if you take a look at the URL, you'd see that it has the source and medium. Now I'm gonna take this quiz and I'm gonna submit. Wait, before I submit, let me change this email address. Okay, submit. All right, so now let's go back over to Active Campaign um, since we have taken this quiz. Let's go to Contacts. Now let's view the new contact with uh, the second email address. Okay, so as you can see, we have the event on the right. And I'm going to go back over to the add on settings. And let's reload this page. All right, so here we have the UTM parameters as custom fields. Now, if you want to create your own custom field, you would have to go back to active campaign, click manage fields and click the add field button in the top right hand corner and give it a field name. Once you're done, click add. Now let's go back over to the add on settings, reload the page. Now at the bottom, there's a question field that can be mapped. And don't forget to save your settings. Okay, so now you know how to go ahead and set up the active campaign quiz and survey master add-on. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.